You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Yeah. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. I'm doing well. <laughs> so we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? <laughs> a lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. Uh, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. A bullet. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Well, now I want it. Uh... Honestly, I wasn't sure how I don't know if I can pause the game. But now that I Oh, I can. Okay. Hear it? It does have a nice ring. <clears throat> so, I guess we should talk about wedding plans eventually. Now you're speaking my language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Same. <laughs> Course I was it's a nerve-wracking ordeal doing it, you know. The second you said yes, but you said yes. So. Our whole future rolling out ahead of us. <laughs> Whatever. I love you, Alex. <clears throat> Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. They're having fun, or? <laughs> Mischievous. Coast Guard! The Coast Guard are here! What? Everybody flush their mess! We gotta get rid of all this mess! We can't let them take us alive! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. There she go. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. <clears throat> hey. Search for the nav pad. So, is this a camera? Yeah, it is. Leaving, and that for a while. Waterproof, 30M. <clears throat> Why'd you do it on the dock? Oh. Oh, whoops. Thanks. I never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good pro, bro. Screenshots from the game or wait, what do you mean? You told me to right, follow us. One, I'm not that savvy. And two, I'm talking about med school. Still. We're over the top, bro. Oh no, man. Things seem kinda fishy. We got off Scott clean. 
Why do they keep pressing the goddamn button? <laughs> I gotta leave it on, cause. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. I took too long. <clears throat> hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Cool. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow, you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah. That makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. It's time to pick everything. <clears throat> Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twists. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet. 
opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> his his face changed like that kid's face earlier. That was weird. You have me going. Pretty cool. Hit me on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and for good, buddy. And I'm out. Bro, how did they get there like that? What? <laughs> it's about to be all over, boys. I knew those guys were gonna be <laughs> Alright, we're, we're truly in the part of the game Where we mess up and we get killed out here of course, it's the I'm the captain now guy. Gonna ungag him. Let's ungag everybody first. Wait, where's the other guy? Where's his brother? Said possessed, probably. <laughs> oh. Is there blood on his face? Get out of 
of here. We're in a lot of danger. Guys, we gotta get untied. Right now. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. <laughs> you're the little lady. Eating my boy. What do you fuckers want? Chill, brother. Stop. Please just stop. Slow down. Easy. I think if I said the other thing, you think he would have died? Where's the guy's brother at? Okay. That's not him, right? Okay. No, oh, that's definitely not him. Where is he? No possessed. I'm a dipstick. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna hit her. They have an influence. Swiss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. Uh, did you see my brother? No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Was it that guy in the suit? These birds going crazy. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Seconds. 
storm's eight miles away. If you came here on a boat, maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy's here. And he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. It's too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Buster. Conrad! Easy. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. What are you doing, you idiot? Careful. Don't make this worse. Maybe I should have just got on the boat. <laughs> God. We can't catch him with this old junker. Remember. Oh man. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la! Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! And now they found our coordinates. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian gold? Manchurian gold. What say they just get randomly get dressed, but yeah, that makes sense. To this guy's forehead. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her. 
I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, so. What a call, Kenny. Oof. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Milan requesting weather update. Over. Yo, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Press the wrong button. Everything's better when we have each other out. You get that? Don't you? Brother, no, no. just trying to help them. I wonder how you get water out of a boat like that. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. So he's hiding? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Was that the ship? Go ship. That's where that guy died. Yikes. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> you appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time. But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? 
kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. 